Dr. Jeff Young is a surgeon from UVA's trauma department to talk a little bit about what he sees when a big storm like this heads our way. And I guess, first off, do you see more patients before this storm because so many people get out on the roadways during or after? Uh, the emergency department sees a lot more patients after the storm comes, usually from minor accidents, people mm -hmm. uh, not following uh, far enough back to stop in time. Uh, actually, the trauma center itself sees less really badly injured patients during the storm because people stay inside and are usually sure. going a little bit slower. And a lot of people not only getting out on the roads and whatnot are getting outside, they're trying to shovel their sidewalks, shovel their driveways, and I'm sure that could lead to its fair share of trauma. Right, we definitely see a lot more falls, a lot more serious falls, especially if there's ice out there. And also, as you know, people that haven't exercised much and then get out there and try to shovel a foot of snow can get into trouble as well. So what do you suggest when people do head out? You know, the, the snow stopped and boy, now it's time to get out and, you know, get the driveway cleared, get the sidewalk cleared. Uh, maybe now it's time for me to head to the store for that beer run or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, what, what do you suggest? Well, I think there's two things to talk about. The first thing is that for people that are not used to driving in the snow, they need to increase the following distance a lot. Even if they think they're following far enough behind, uh, they probably need to make that even more. Uh, the second is that four-wheel drive trucks are not magic. Mm -hmm. um, they help you get going, but they don't give you any advantage in steering or braking when you're on the snow. And the people we see that are very seriously injured are usually in big four-wheel drive vehicles because they think it's okay to go 65 when there's 12 inches of snow on the ground. It gives them a false sense of security and the best idea, just take it slow. Absolutely. They're in a better position, but they, if it's 12 inches of snow, you can't go the regular speed limit. You have to go much slower. Okay, so you're ready to go out and shovel, though. What are the best kind of boots? How should you prepare to go do something like that? Well, you got to make sure that you stay warm. You got to make sure you're not wearing sneakers. Um, you got to make sure that you're insulated against the cold. You're not going to get wet. That you only do it, you know, until you, you know, feel like you've done enough. Not try mm -hmm. to do the whole driveway. And like I'm going to do, get my adult sons to help do it. Well, there you go. That's a good <laughs> idea, right? All yep. right. Dr. Jeff Young, thank you so much for coming out here today. You're welcome. Stay warm. Yep. All right, Steve.